Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Thanks for coming back to the channel for this 4K review. Today's video is going to be one of the more interesting 4K reviews that I've ever done because this might be the only time that I've ever compared one 4K release to another 4K release. So today we're going to be diving into the first of the new Halloween 4K movies from Scream Factory, starting with the original Halloween from 1978. Now the interesting part about this review is that I have previously reviewed Halloween on 4K as Lionsgate put out a release back in 2018 to coincide with the new Halloween trilogy and the 40th anniversary of that series with their release of Halloween on 4K. So typically when I do these reviews, I'm comparing, okay, how does the 4K disc uh, compare to the Blu-ray? In this case, we're going head to head, two 4K discs head to head against each other. So it's gonna be a very interesting review and one of the most unique ones that I've ever done. So I will talk about all the different aspects of these two releases from the visual quality, HDR grading, color timing, the audio, even the packaging and the special features. And so I will let you know whether or not this is ultimately worth picking up and double dipping if you own the original 4K release of Halloween and what are some of the other things that come with this release that may convince you to do that. So the Screen Factory release is a new 4K transfer that was supervised by cinematographer Dean Kundi, who's the original cinematographer of the Halloween 1978 movie, as well as many other classic horror movies. But it is a new 4K scan from original camera negatives. And while these both have Dolby Vision, there is a clear distinguished difference between the two this is not the same color timing. Scream Factory release is much punchier, it has much more highlight detail, it is brighter, it has more color, it's less dull, whereas the Lionsgate is a little bit on the kind of like gray side of things, it's a little bit dull, it feels like a, you know, a fall afternoon night, it definitely has that look and feel, whereas the Scream Factory has, has punched it up a little bit. And I like that they punched it up a little bit. You know, I, I think that it looks better. Skin tones look better. There are a little bit more, in, you know, there's more detail that you can make out in someone's jacket. And some of the darker scenes, you know, the shadow detail is, is better. And I feel like I can see just a little bit more. But that's where this is going to come down to really your preference. These are both great discs and they're both great 4K scans. The, the detail and the quality of this 4K scan, the resolution, the way that the grain looks like, it's very similar on both of these. So the real big differentiator is the color timing. If you prefer a little bit more of a dull look, something that looks maybe a little more late 70s, something that looks and feels more like that kind of dreary, dark fall Illinois day, that's gonna be on the Lionsgate Blu-ray, 4K. The Scream Factory is going to punch things up a level. It is brighter, it has more color, it has more contrast. It is a different experience and it kind of takes you out of the dark, dull, dreary, gloomy type look that the Lionsgate 4K has and it brings it into a, a little bit more modern feeling um, experience. So I'd say they're both great discs visually. It's really gonna come down to your preference. And you know, take a look at these screenshots, do some, own, your, some of your own research, some of your own comparisons, but um, there, there's a clear difference in the color timing. And there's an interesting piece of this that I do think Scream Factory realizes that and they understand that fans may want that original color timing because if you look at the packaging there's the 4k disc there's the blu-ray disc and then they included a blu-ray which says original blu-ray color timing so they included that which to me is them saying yes we changed the way this looked we changed the way the movie felt it's a different experience for people who may enjoy that, but they didn't want to lose that original color timing that I do think appeals to a lot of people. Now, when we look at audio, there is another upgrade here, although I will say it's slight. The Lionsgate uh, 4K had a Dolby True HD 7.1. 
and this Scream Factory disc has a new Dolby Atmos track. Now, the 7.1 is going to be your source for the Atmos, and so for many people, you're probably not gonna notice much of a difference. It's always great to get the Atmos experience, but comparing these head to head, did I really hear much of a difference? Um, in most cases, no. Again, Halloween is a pretty quiet movie. There isn't a whole lot going on. The most sound that you get in the, in the best you know, audio experience of this film is the score, is John Carpenter's score and obviously the iconic theme. And yeah, did that sound a little bit better in Atmos? I think so. But I don't know that unless you're a hardcore audiophile that this Atmos track is going to give you enough to convince you alone to upgrade from this release to this release. There's other reasons to upgrade. I don't think Atmos is a big enough difference to say, okay, this is an absolute must have and I need to double dip. It's a slight improvement. Many people probably won't notice it and it really only seemed to kick in for me and make a huge difference during those big um, audio moments where the score kicked in. Now, if we talk about packaging and special features, the Screen Factory release has a huge leg up over the other Blu-ray. This is new artwork that was newly commissioned for this set. It also has a very hard slip case. So not just a slip cover, a hard cardboard box, and then same artwork on the inside. And as I already showed you, it does come with two Blu-ray discs, which include that original color timing. So that's a pretty cool way to own this movie because if you do like that original look and feel, you can always watch the Blu-ray and get that color timing, or you can upgrade to the 4K. Um, honestly, when it comes to horror movies like this, some people prefer a little bit of a grittier experience, hence why horror movies on VHS are still so popular. There is a certain nostalgia to watching Halloween on a lesser format because it seems a little bit scarier than when it's too cleaned up. So I like that they did offer you know, a couple Blu-ray options here. Now, the special features are close to being the same, but Scream Factory has the edge. On the Lionsgate disc, there was a commentary with John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis. There was a couple featurettes, some TV version footage. I wish they included the full TV edit on one of these releases. Trailer, TV spots, radio spots. When we go to Scream Factory, the commentary is with Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis, but then it also has another one with Dean Kundi, the cinematographer, editor Tommy Lee Wallace, and actor Nick Castle, who plays Michael Myers in this movie. Then on disc two on the Blu-ray, you get those commentaries as well as those featurettes, trailer, radio spots, TV spots, and the TV footage that was on the Lionsgate disc. And then disc three has that original color timing presentation. It has an interview with Mustafa Akkad, who is the producer of these movies. It has Halloween, a cut above the rest, Halloween unmasked, Halloween, the extended cut in HD. The TV spots are in standard definition, but it is the extended cut. And then the theatrical trailer, TV spots, radio spots. So you get a more definitive version of Halloween with this release. It has more commentary, it has more featurettes, it has that extended cut. It has a lot more to offer than what Lionsgate put out on what was pretty much a bare bones release, just a couple features in a commentary track. So overall, this this kind of, it's hard to give a recommendation one way or the other, but I personally am happy that I upgraded. And that being said, I'll probably still keep this disc. Although I love that they included the original Blu-ray color timing on the Scream Factory release, this packaging is better. The presentation is the best that I've ever seen Halloween look. Although, like I said, could be a turn off for some people who, are, who enjoy the original or maybe a grittier look and feel. But this has all the special features you could ask for. Excellent packaging, Dolby Atmos audio, a new 4K scan. I mean, if you're the ultimate collector of Halloween, you probably already own the 4K, but it's definitely worth it to take a leap up to this one and grab it. At least the first one, if not Halloween 2 through 5. But we'll be taking a look at those in another video. So I will leave a link to Halloween on 4K down in the description. Like I said, I think it's a worthy pickup for big horror fans, fans of this series, or if you're really just looking for a top quality 4K and you're not too much of a purist, I think you'll love the Scream Factory transfer. Otherwise, if you're a purist, you know, 
there's some decisions you have to make there. But link down in the description to Amazon that helps support my channel if you use it. And I appreciate the support on that. So thanks for watching this review. This is really like one of the toughest reviews I've done because going head to head 4K against 4K, same movie, but such drastically different color timing, um, but with the same great, you know, detail and resolution. It was a the very interesting tough review to do and as a super fan of halloween like it's one of my probably my favorite horror movie because i don't consider jaws a horror movie this was a tough review and i, I still even as i'm talking to you now and thinking back on these two discs i'm still going back and forth in my head on whether i like the lion's gate 4k or the screen factory 4k um it's a real tough decision and one that I think you guys just have to make for yourselves. But I will say, no matter which way you go, these are both very, very solid scans. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video so others will see it. And check out all the links where you can follow me on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Those are great places to get in touch with me, see what's going on with the channel, see what's coming up next for videos, and just watch what's going on in life and in my collection. So appreciate anyone who follows me over there. I've seen lots of new followers, especially on TikTok. So that's been cool, growing the community on that platform. Um, but like I said, just a great place to send me a message or catch up. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Enjoy spooky season. Watch Halloween on 4K one way or another. Experience it. It's well worth it. Um, it's such a great movie and I loved Halloween Kills too. So I'll leave you with that. I know some people were a little bit nah, cold on it and it got some negative reviews. I had a lot of fun with it. It's everything a slasher movie should be. Stupid characters, lots of amazing kills. Michael Myers in absolute sicko mode going nuts. I loved it. So yeah, that's it. Have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon.